Leaving the Game was filmed in 2014, and now we're finally seeing you on the big screen. My name is Gabrielle Cook here with Focus Magazine, and we are getting an inside look on what the actors and actresses had to go through to get this film where it is today. Stay tuned. You casted some really harsh characters and harsh roles in this film. What inspired this whole process and character grasp? Um, what inspired it was, you know, you got to do a film with reality. And with reality, you got to use real characters. You know, when people watch a movie and they see this guy and he's a millionaire and everything, and it's not real, they, they, it's a movie. But when people watch Leaving the Game, they see these characters, they see people that they know, people that they've seen, and they're like, oh, that's, you know, they can identify with it, and that makes them remember the, the movie. You know what I mean? So, you, you hear people say that people's art imitates their, their reality. Would this movie imitate the reality that you were living in at some point in time? Absolutely not. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's a reflection of things I've seen, people I know, but me living this lifestyle, no. All right, so you were here, you made this film. Seeing it put up on the big screen in Red Cinemas, how is this making you feel right now? Or are you still grasping the fact that you have this film in your name? Well, like you said, I'm gassed. I've watched it last night twice. I've watched it twice today. I'm getting ready to watch it once and once again, and I'm going to watch it tomorrow. And I feel absolutely excited, gassed, astonished, and any other word you can think about. Because, like you said, it's me on the big screen because I'm actually in the film. And seeing these guys that I casted doing a great job, it's just a wonderful feeling. Because once you're on film, you are immortalized. That's something people can never take from you. You live forever. And with us having messages in the film, you know, it, it's something people can look at and say, okay, yeah. Like, one of the messages in this story, I'm not going to tell the story, is don't judge a book by its cover. It's, everything is not what it seems. And then it's also... Making choices can, you make the wrong choice, that can ruin your life. Would choice making be one of the biggest things that you want the fans to get from this film? I want fans to get that, and then I also want people that know me, people that don't know me. You know, I'm just a guy, Rick Cotton from Scotland County, North Carolina, out in the Sand Hills, Wagram, Lomberg. But you can do whatever you want to do. All you got to do is put your first, your, your best foot forward and do it. Because... You know, people always want to do things like you guys. One day you wanted to do interviews. Now you're doing an interview. So the message in this film and all of our stuff is stop dreaming and start being it. Make those moves you need to make to do what you want to do in life and do it. Support Kotlu Films. Where is it? It's right there on the post. It's right here, Kotlu Films. Support us on Facebook and keep following us to see what we got going on. Check out our YouTube page, Kotlu Films. Support us. We always have messages in our music. We got a DVD for sale with three films on it. The short of leaving the game, we have the word, and we have consequences and repercussions. And we don't use strong language in anything we do. We don't use the N word. We don't use the B word referring to women because we are all about positivity. Thank you so much.